everybody, it's your boy Flacco, and thank you for joining me for another one of my beer reviews. Tonight, we are doing a lager, a light lager, Coors Light. It is a 4.2% alcohol by volume. The Coors Brewing Company out of Colorado, United States. Uh, pretty cool little cans. The mountains on here turn blue whenever the beer is cold and supposedly at its perfect temperature to sip. We're going to go ahead and sip it out of the big boy today. Let's uh, go ahead and see what the beer advocate says for it. Beer advocate scores it at a 51. The bros give it a 45, so they both are awful scores on beer advocate. And for the bros, it is a light lager, the style. Let's see. And it doesn't look like it's getting a lot of love on the website, man. It does not look like it's getting a lot of love at all, man. So, I mean, it can't be that bad, right? I mean, they sell a lot of it. America's most refreshing beer, right? Let's go ahead and check the Beer Buddy. If you don't have the Beer Buddy app, you see that? That's cool that you scan the barcode. Check this out. Do this live. Boom. Boom. And bam. Pulled it up right there. Coors Light. Uh, they scored at 1.35. So even a low score here. And it says a 4% alcohol by volume on this. 105 calories per 12 ounces, so if you're watching your diet or whatnot, I guess that's important to you guys, not really important to me. Um, let's go ahead and do it to it. Alright. Let's try to get us a head on it. Alright, alright, alright. So off the rip, it looks like it's going to be pretty well carbonated. I'm getting a lot of bubbles up here, a nice little head. We were a little aggressive with it. Um, it's not that bad. It's a very, 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 very see-through, very clear, very light, weedy, golden color there. Barely golden. I mean, I mean more yellowish gold, if anything. Uh, the head dissipated really quickly. Carbonation is going away pretty quickly as well, and uh, that's pretty much it, man. I mean, it's nice, light, fluffy, little head on there, but it's going away pretty quickly, man. So the bubbles are still there. Let's see if I can get it. There you go. Bam! Look at that. Let's see if there's anything left in here. Alright, so the whole thing fits in a big boy glass. Alright. Go ahead and get a smell on it. Doesn't have too much of a smell. It's, uh, it's a light lager, so light wheats, light, light cereal wheat malt. Not much else, man. Slight, maybe, hoppiness. Not really, though. No, I couldn't even give it that, man. Just the light weediness. Head's pretty much gone already. It's still flowing with the carbonation. Carbonation's still pretty good on it, but the head's gone. There's no head worth to speak of on this anymore. There's hardly anything to the smell, just the light weediness to it. Let's go ahead and try it. Yeah, man, it's, it's a simple beer. It's a simple beer. I imagine uh, when we were first learning about the cold brewing process of uh, making the lagers, because lagers are produced with the cold brewing process, and like the pale ales and all that, which are fermented with the, with the hot process. Lagers are brewed with the cold brewing process. But uh, I imagine this is what it kind of first tastes like, the first stuff, I mean, without too much flavor. It's really light, man. It's really light. It doesn't have too much. It's not too complex. It's just, it is what it is, man. It's a simple beer. It is uh, water, wheat, graininess, and sugars, man. It's light sweetness to it. That's it. That's all this beer is. This beer is a basic. And even a lighter take on the basics too. 
This would probably be like chopping your ingredients in half. Right down the middle. This would be chopping your ingredients up in half, man. This is uh, the basics. Touching ground with Brewers 101 right here, man. This is... I mean, it's basic, but I mean, it's refreshing, it's crisp. It's like drinking a soda pop, you know what I mean? <laughs> on, a, on a hot day. Lawnmower, backyard, barbecue beer. That's what it is, man. It falls in that category. Backyard barbecue beer, man. Some people might like it, some people are knocking, a lot of people are knocking. I mean, it's not that bad compared to a lot of other stuff. You know, compared to Bud Light, at least this does have somewhat, some kind of a flavor to it. Not far from the Bud Light, though. Not very far from it, but it does have more of a flavor to it. In my opinion. Not to against you Bud Light sippers. In my opinion. Like I said, it's only my opinion. But, uh, backyard beer, man. Not that bad. In the lager world, in that world, in that category, you can't put it in there with the, with the pale ales and all the the home craft food stuff, you can't put it in there, so I won't put it in there. But in the lager category, in the lager category, it's a seven. It's a well-made lager. It's not a perfect lager. I would like a little bit more flavor to it. I'd like a little bit more depth in the color. You know, this is a little light, but it's a light lager, so it's supposed to be like that. I'm being prejudiced because it's in, in the class category of a light lager. So it's supposed to be lighter. But if you're gonna be on a logger level anyway, you're already like man. You're already treading light. So again, good beer to sip on, backyard beer, it's a good, it's, it's a good backyard beer. Uh, piss water if you're gonna just drink it just to go for it. I mean, not bad. Not a waste of money. I wouldn't buy it. I mean I would I bought it, but I don't want to I wouldn't buy it if it was something that I would choose to provide today because you know I never I don't do lager ever I don't do any so that's why I picked it up today just for you guys just to try it out but if I had a choice between this and a craft beer I go with the craft there's no question no question craft beer all the way man craft beer if you got any uh, other beers you want me to try any exclusive stuff you know I'll be able to look out I'll search for it yeah um, Go ahead and drop me a comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. I uh, will definitely get back to you and try to find the beer that you're talking about. Also, if you're a local artist again, or not even local, from wherever you're coming from, man, if you just want to hit me up, I'll start putting links to my uh, Facebook and my uh, Snapchat up there. I'll figure out how, but I'll start doing that. Y'all gotta start hitting me up on there, start sending me some links. We can click up, I'll put you on on the backdrops, you know, like putting people on, just keep supporting me, I'll keep supporting you guys, again, it's been your boy Flacco, with the 7, Coors Light, coming in at 7, on my beer reviews, I'm out.